Good day to you and welcome to another tutorial from Xenotrust. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compress images that are already existing on your WordPress website. So this is a website, a WordPress demo website, and as you can see, there are some images. Okay. So if I want to compress these images that are already be already being used on the website, there is a way I can do this. So, but first off, I want you to come to the back end of your website, click um come to plugins and click on add new. And then I want you to start for SMUSH. So that's Smosh. Okay. So go ahead and install it. And then let's activate it. Okay, so having installed and activated, let's locate Smosh and set it up. So I have Smosh here. I'm just going to click on settings. Okay, so we are here. So as you can see, um, I'll just keep this. So Smosh is analyzing my website and checking for the images I have. And of course, it has shown me that I have 13 images that I can smush all at once. Essentially, what this does is that it reduces the size of the image. So smushing an image on your website is exactly the same as compressing the images using a service like Photoshop or some online image compressor. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on bulk smush now and then it smushes um, the 13. It's important to note that this um, plugin can only smush 50 images per time if you have a, if you are using the free version but with the paid version you can actually smush far more than 50 images so as you can see um, this plugin has finished compressing um, the images on my website okay so essentially the effect will be that the my website will uh, be lighter and load faster now to use this image I must actually tell you that before you use this plugin it's important to back up your website okay just in case something goes wrong you can easily restore a backup from your website okay so essentially that's um, how the plugin works Go ahead and try it out on your website and leave comments in the comment section to tell me how it went. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. To see how you can back up your website or how you can create a um, external backup for, for your website, check a link in the description. If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe immediately and turn on the post notification. I create great content for the web. Alright, see you in another video.